Yeah, this big brain time. Hi everyone, I am doing something interesting today with Lee. We are going to take the Mensa test. <laughs> um, I just thought it would be a fun idea for a video. It's something to do, isn't it? And if I don't get in, at least it's a fun video. If I do get in, maybe you will get an insight into it appears to be a bit of a cult, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> would they not would they kick me out for saying that if I get in? <laughs> um Mensa is like you've you've you have to take a test, which is what we're going to do today, and if you score in the top two percent IQ you're invited to join. I think IQ is a bit silly, to be honest. I don't really think there's any way to measure one person's intelligence, especially not with two test papers. But it's just something fun and interesting, and that's it really. We're going to Birmingham to do it, so we get a fun day out in Birmingham as well. And yeah, I am taking the test first, so I'll let you know how it goes. I love how people who aren't from Birmingham say, oh, Digbeth's like an artsy area. And then you go to Digbeth and there's this. <laughs> Hello, so we have done our tests now. And whilst Lee did his, I had like a trip around Birmingham, did some shopping. The tests were basically two main papers and if you've done the 11 plus grammar school entrance exam you'll know what I'm on about when I say verbal reasoning and non-verbal reasoning. The first paper was a non-verbal reasoning one and that's basically you're given a sequence of shapes and you've got to work out what shape is next in the sequence. It sounds fairly simple but it can actually be really complicated. So I was used to this non-verbal reasoning but they gave you barely any time to do the questions. I wasn't able to finish a lot of them. You had like two and a half minutes to do 10 questions. And the next paper was the verbal reasoning one. And that's questions like, you have to fill in a sen the gaps in a sentence with words. And it will say things like, you've got to work out what the opposite of this word is. So the opposite of the word pure is a foul be untrustworthy and it's kind of a bit abstract like that yeah it was just that really although there was like some really difficult questions towards the end and i don't know if it's showing the age of the paper or something because the paper itself was written in 1963 but there was this question where it's like a man goes to a river to commit suicide but then he decide because he's run out of money but then he decides not to. Why? A. Someone talked him out of it. B. He got a phone call and found out he had money. C. He had an important meeting he couldn't miss. Or D. He got ill and you had to say which one it was from that. And yeah, so I'm not sure how I've done, but things crossed I've done well and Lee's done well as well. <laughs> and we will find out in two or three weeks. There, there were quite a few interesting people as well in my group anyway. We ended up chatting a bit and we ended up speaking to someone who was a ballet dancer, well is a ballet dancer, at the Birmingham Hippodrome and so I said oh so what are you rehearsing right now? He said Romeo and Juliet and he's playing Benvolio so that was really cool so I forgot his name, but hello Benvolio, if you come across this video. <laughs> and it, it was, yeah, the, there was a wide variety of ages, ethnicities. The invigilator for the exam actually noted that this was the first exam he'd done where there were more women taking it than men. I looked at the statistics for it earlier and the membership of Mensa is 66% male. 34% female, which is crazy. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, leaving now and I will update you soon. Bye. Hello, it is now two to three weeks later after taking the meds test and I got an email uh, yesterday saying 
yay, <laughs> I'm in Mensa. <laughs> um, I got, I think it said I got 148 on the uh, verbal reasoning test, which puts me in the top 2%, I think. Um, and I think that means my IQ is 148, so cool. <laughs> Um, and the non-verbal reasoning one, I got 140 in, but that was in the top 1%, I think. That test is also capped at 146. It's a bit confusing, but essentially they say go with your best result. So, 148, yay. <laughs> and for Lee, he got 153 in the verbal reasoning one, and he got 137 in the non-verbal reasoning one, so he is offered membership too. Um, cool. <laughs> yeah, it, it does seem like one of those exclusive sort of club things. I remember at the time of um, us taking the test, the person who was hosting the exam said, it's a social club, nothing more. So it's just a social club where people who have taken this test do things <laughs> I don't know but I'm feeling like I might as well join it just so I can give you guys an insight maybe we can go to I don't know an event or something just so you get to see what it's like I'm still a bit skeptical about the whole thing to be honest I don't I really don't think you know IQ is everything uh and I know it might be easy for me to say that you know having the score that I have and things, but there's been really awful people with high IQs. There's been really great people with low IQs. I don't think IQ really measures anything. All it's measured, in my opinion, is how well we've done on this test on this specific day. <laughs> uh, anyway, I know that a lot of people like to join Mensa as a whole point to be able to say that, oh, I'm in Mensa to tell everyone. And for a lot of people, I suppose it's instantly a badge that they can pull out that say, yeah, I'm smart, this test says so. Uh, yeah, I'm, like, from what I've just said, I'm not about that at all. Having said that, I think I will get a hoodie. <laughs> just because it's, you know, I'm in a cool club. Well, it's different. Maybe cool is the wrong word. I'm in a club. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm going to join and just give you guys, I suppose, an insight into what it's like. And then, yeah. <laughs> so yay, I'm in Mensa. I will see you guys soon and expect an update on any events once I've properly joined and thing and how it all works. And I can chat more to you guys about it in a future video. See you. Thanks. Bye.